Hey guys, welcome to day 19 of our 21 days of prayer. Man, today I'm going to share with you my life verse, my favorite scripture verse in the whole Bible. It's a verse that God gave me a while ago, and I pray that it encourages you and will strengthen you today. Here's what it says. It's Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Uh, Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you don't know. A few things jump out to me before we pray this verse over our life and for our lives. Number one, call to me. Amazing to think that we can call out to God, the creator of the universe. We can actually call out to him without fear of retribution, without uh, anxiety that he's going to retaliate against us and that we're not accepted. But call to me, and he says this, he's like, you're welcomed because of my grace and mercy. Call to me, and I'm going to answer you. The creator of the universe is going to respond to you. He's not playing hide and go seek. He actually wants to communicate back to you. You see, your prayer changes everything. And uh, call to me, I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you don't know. I want to tell you something. God wants to tell you things. He wants to download his vision, his dreams, uh, insight into raising your children, discernment, Uh, that prophetic knowing inside your heart. He wants to download those things to you. So let's pray that. Heavenly Father, we declare Jeremiah 33 verse 3 over our lives in the name of Jesus. We That we can call to you as your children. We can call to you knowing that we're accepted and we're received because of the grace and the mercy of God. We can come into your throne room, as the Bible says, boldly knowing that you receive us. And the crazy part is we know that when we call to you, we um, lay our burdens before you, our concerns, our worries, that you're going to answer us. We thank you that you whisper to us. We thank you for your word of God, that you communicate to us from the word of God and a word of God. I pray for those that are needing wisdom. Uh, Your word says that you'll give us wisdom. Um... When we ask without measure means limitless. I pray that you would give wisdom for parents of how to raise their children. Your word says that you will show us things that we don't know. Give them revelation of how to handle their finances, maybe some decisions that need to be made. I pray they'll make decisions uh, as they come to you and ask questions and submit them before you, that uh, as you download answers to them, maybe those answers are going to go against what's logical or within reason. Uh, Lord, we're going to live by faith. Whatever you download to us and share to us, we're going to do those things. We're going to work towards those things. We're going to maybe yield some things to you. We give you full permission to speak to us, to share your plan, your vision, your dreams for our families, for our church, for our children. Lord, for those that are young adults uh, praying right now, they're seeking you for direction in their life. I pray that you would make their paths so clear. Lord, your word even says that, that you'll be a light to our path. Amazing to think that you're going to lead us and guide us in all things. Lord, today I pray that for our mind, that our mind is surrendered to you. Your word says that a carnal mind is at enmity with you, but a renewed mind, right? A renewed mind is at harmony with you. God, renew our mind today. Let us think upon things that are pure, holy, and just. Lord, those things that um, would cause um, mixture in our life and cloud up our hearing, remove those things that we might hear the whisper of the Holy Spirit throughout the day. And Lord, I thank you that you are showing us unsearchable things that we'll never know on our own, that you're giving us discernment, you're giving us revelation, and we declare it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, listen, let me challenge you today as you're going throughout your day, call to God, pray to God, But make sure that you listen as much as you call out to God. I kind of feel it's more important to hear what God says than even what we say. So take a moment and pour your complaint out to him. Share your dreams to God and take a moment to listen. I'll even encourage you to take a next step. Maybe journal those things. Write those things down. Develop a discipline of praying, listening, and writing them down. Let me tell you, it will build your faith. I promise you it will. God bless you.